Bob Monroe started his career at Telzon Corporation, maker of the PTC 960 portable handheld barcode scanner, or as anyone in retail can tell you, the original scan gun. Maybe that's where Bob's passion for capturing and collecting data began. And now he's the director of field applications engineering at Laird Connectivity, where he helps engineers leverage Laird's IIoT sensors and gateways to wirelessly gather data in virtually any setting. Welcome to Tech Chats, Bob. Hey, thanks. So let's talk a bit about Laird Connectivity. And, you know, for those who aren't familiar, what do you do and how do you help designers? Our idea is really to get you to market as fast as possible with the best connectivity available. So at Laird, we, we make wireless modules, gateways, sensors, antennas, uh, but we also do a lot more to get people up and running. We have unmatched customer support. That's my team that I run. So I have FAEs all over the world, as well as support engineers uh, located here in Akron, Ohio, to take any issues that you might run into and get you answers quickly and get you up and running. Um, we also provide customization and product development. So we have a whole design services team. And we also offer EMC testing and certification. We can not only, you know, sell you the radio, get you up and running, but we can also certify your device. All that just to sum up that we have a lot of wireless expertise. Um, we have embedded designs. So we do have uh, wireless modules, uh, SOMs. And again, going back to the FAEs, we do offer free schematic reviews and free 3D antenna scans. Uh, we also provide uh, ready-to-deploy IoT sensors and gateways. Um, we also then, with the design services, can go end-to-end, -end, so we can even get into um, you know mechanical firmware, cloud, like I talked about before. We can also customize, since we you know have our own design services and manufacturing, we can help you customize. So if you know you like our sensor, uh, but you don't like the blue that it's in, or you want your own labels, um, we can do that. Um, we can also preload configuration and security for you, so you don't have to you know, do that on your own. And then we also can do deeper customization um, so that we can help you develop that firmware, uh, add additional cable lengths. We can also make your mobile app to uh, provide provisioning and, and functionality inside your app and make it an out-of-box connectivity uh, via our secure manufacturing. Uh, we also provide uh, long-term OS kernel support. Um, on our IoT gateways, we can uh, add IoT Greengrass from AWS to provide over-the-air upgrades for all of your devices. And then we can also do bug fixes over the air as well to some of your devices. Okay, so you mentioned SOMs and some more product-level solutions. So where should we start? Uh, let's start with the, our uh, gateway and our sensors. Um, kind of is where we'll focus today. So first up, we have our BT-510 and our IG or Industrial Gateway 60. Uh, first, let's talk about the Sentry's BT-510 sensor. Um, this is a, a really nice sensor that will do location, uh, motion, impact, environmental temperature, uh, or open, closed door. Uh, so it's got a, a built-in read switch uh, and a built-in temperature sensor from minus 20 to positive 60 C. Inside of that is a Nordic NRF52840 with a Cortex M4F uh, with a meg flash and 256K of RAM. Uh, and it also supports all the Bluetooth 5 features, including Bluetooth 5 long range. So this is a, a really nice sensor that you, you know, could put in in a location that you wanted to check temperature or could put it on your freezer door uh, so that when the door was open, it could set an alarm. Or if the door is open for more than, you know, say five minutes, it'll trigger an alarm to somebody to say, hey, your door's open, let's go close it. Uh, the next one, and this is a brand new product that we just announced. Um, I don't have a whole lot of details on it. This is our BT710 Bluetooth tracker. Uh, this also has Bluetooth 5 uh, long range. Um, but where it has differences, it has four uh, highly visible LEDs, an integrated vibration, uh, and an alarm or beeper, uh, and also a push button. And it uses the Quapa tag for real-time location services. This is going to be perfect for contact tracing, where we're at now with the COVID-19 pandemic, to know where your employees, who they were next to, who they spent time with, or, you know, somewhere where people can, you know, get lost. And you could do all kinds of things to try and capture um, where they went to. And then next we'll move on to the gateway. 
Um, so we have our IG60 comes in a couple formats. Um, it's the it's either the serial to do RS232, 422, 485. Uh, so it's perfect for you know industrial type applications or industrial sensors. Um, it does have Bluetooth, but it's not. Uh, it's Bluetooth 4.2. Um, but then you can move over into the uh, the BL654 module, so you end up losing. Um, the RS-232, 422, or 485, which what you get is full Bluetooth 5, uh, including long range. Uh, this also comes then in two other versions between them. So one is AWS IoT, and then the other one is a full Linux version uh, so that you, if you wanted to design your your own applications or were wanting to do something other than AWS Greengrass, here on this slide you can see um, the differences between the options of the IG60, BL654, the IG serial. Uh, it does provide Wi-Fi using our Psalm 60, uh, which is a Cortex 8.5 uh, with 256 mega RAM and 512 flash. Provides 802.11 AC Wave 2 MU MIMO and uses our layered uh, Summit supplicant. There is also the option for the LTE, which is CAT1 uh, with 3G and 2G fallback. Um, we also have the IG60 starter kit. Basically, you get an IG60 with three BT510 sensors. Um, so you get everything in the box to get it up and running in minutes. You mentioned your modules again. So can we talk about some of those options? Let's talk about when we get into modules, the Pinnacle 100, which is our um, our new LTEM NBIoT Bluetooth uh, 5 modem. We provided not only LTEM and NBIoT, but we've included Bluetooth 5 and it is fully end device certified. So what that means is you don't have to go through all the certifications. So not only do you save time, but you save money. It is cloud ready. Like I said, it does do LTM, NB-IoT, and it does do Bluetooth low energy, including LE long range and mesh. So you could, you know, have a, a full sensor, bunch of Bluetooth 5 sensors or a mesh network coming back and then sending all of that data up uh, via NBIoT or CAT M1. It uh, does have the option of either an integrated antenna or an external. Um, and it also does do uh, GPS as well. The Pinnacle 100 is based on the LTR 1250 and a Nordic NRF 52840 um, all in one. Uh, again, it's got the Cortex M4F with a one mega flash and 256K of RAM. It's really small. It does have an integrated SIM, and it will add eSIM. It takes up about 168K of that one meg of space, so you have 856K available to write your own application on it. Uh, it will provide either hosted mode, which uses the AT command set uh, over the UART, or you can use the Zephyr RTOS. Um, and where we see this really, you know, coming out is is fleet management. So, um, you know, you could see where your trucks are at, at any given time um, with the with the GPS and the uh, cellular backhaul, home healthcare. Um, there's been lots of studies that say people heal faster at home than they do in the hospital. Um, so, you know, you could see somebody getting home sooner uh, with this, where you're able to get sensors on the patient and be able to send that data back up to the internet. Oil and gas, uh, security, smart energy. Um, you know, I could see this thing up on a, on a big windmill. So preventative maintenance type applications. So uh, next up, we'll talk about the, the Centrius MG1XX, uh, which basically what we did is we took the um, Pinnacle 100 and put it in a case. So if you're just looking for a way to get Bluetooth 5 sensors, uh, and get the, all that data sent up to the cloud uh, in a quick and easy way, then this is, this is the way to go. Um, this will be available uh, Q3 of 2020. Uh, and then coming soon, we will have the Centrius uh, MG1XX micro gateway starter kit. So similar to the IG60, um, it'll be the MG1XX with three BT510 sensors. So this is a, a really nice way to get connectivity up quickly. Uh, again, where do we see use cases for the MG1XX industrial automation? You want to be able to see how many times a conveyor belt has, um, you know, rotated. 
uh, so you know what your wear is or, or how your bearings are doing or smart city, you know, so you could put them up uh, parking meters or those, um, the bikes that people rent, you know, things like that. Uh, transportation, uh, again, see where your trucks are. You could put sensors if it was a, a freezer truck or a refrigerated truck. Um, you know, you could put a, a BT-510 inside of the trailer part of it and then have the MG1XX inside the cab sending that data back to, uh, you know, back to the cloud so that you know from when it left the warehouse till it got to the restaurant to that food or, or whatever it was that needed to be refrigerated was kept at a proper temperature. Um, you know, also for logistics to be able to, you know, track where your drivers are, or track where your packages are. You know, so far we've talked a lot about Bluetooth and cellular options, but you also mentioned Laura earlier. So what do you have for someone that needs to build out based on Laura? We're coming out with a whole lot of new products for Laura. In fact, start off with the Centrius uh, RG1XX gateways. Um, these come in two versions. We have the indoor version or we have the outdoor IP67 rated version. Um, both of these, you know, will be able to get about 10 miles of range between the gateway and the tower. Uh, the nice thing with, with Laura is that you can use it anywhere. You can set up your own gateways, your own network, um, or you can use some of the networks that are provided so you're not locked into paying for a service if you don't want to. The RG1X is a packet forwarder, um, so there, there's no end uh, edge computing on this. It just takes the data and sends it up, and then everything is done up in the cloud. Um, but that makes it real easy to get up and operational. Coming soon, we will have the rg 191 gateway with LTE. Uh, now that is only going to be the RG191, so this won't be available in Europe, but it will then take all the benefits of LoRa and add uh, LTE Cat1 as well. Uh, so you can either, you know, send data two ways or have one as a backup. Next, let's talk about sensors. We have the RS1XX LoRa sensor. Uh, it comes in two variants, the RS191, which is for North America, New Zealand, Australia, Taiwan, and then the RS186 for Europe. These are Bluetooth 4.2. Um, they run on a Nornic NRF51. Uh, they have temperature and humidity sensors. A temperature sensor will go from minus 10 to plus 85 C, uh, and the humidity sensor will go from 0 to uh, 90 uh, they are built in an IP65 enclosure. Um, they'll have onboard data logging for up to 10,000 measurements, and they run on two AA batteries. And then these will run LoRa back to a gateway uh, to be able to send your data, your humidity or temperature on this one. Uh, next, we also have one with an external temperature sensor. Um, so it's got the, uh, the temperature probe is IP67 rated. Uh, and it has temperature from minus 55 to plus 125 C. Uh, next, we have the open closed door. Uh, so this is a reed switch. Same thing you could do, you know, if you had a, an oven or, you know, any kind of door that you wanted to make sure that was open or closed and you could set up alarms to alert somebody. Uh, next, we have the RTD temp probe. It's a PTD 100 RTD temp probe. It's a uh, much narrower, shorter probe. So it'll go from zero up to 180 C. Um, so this is perfect for, uh, you know, industrial smoke shops or restaurants that, you know, smoke meat uh, or really any device, uh, any application where you need uh, to get up to 180 C, but you're looking for a, a smaller, thinner probe. So this is, this is perfect for that kind of application. At the very beginning, you talked about being able to do some customizations to your products. So what do those options look like? Yeah, sure. So um, our sensors, our gateways, uh, you know, we make a, we make an off the shelf version of it. And, but, you know, let's say that you wanted it to be your colors or, or your logos or your branding. Um, we can do that for you. Um, you know, we can make it your color or your brand so that you have a quick turn, quick time to market, um, ready to go device uh, for you. You know, we, we have a, a fully custom uh, design shop where we could, uh, you know, 3D print out 
a sample for you, send it off, see, okay, if this is what I want, and then we can manufacture that for you. Uh, and with that, then also, we don't lock you into uh, having to use our networks or our backend services. Um, you know, you could, you could use it whatever whatever network you wanted to use it on, whatever branding you wanted to, to do. Um, we provide you uh, those customizations. All right. Well, thank you, Bob, for spending some time with us today and for all you do at Laird Connectivity to simplify wireless connectivity. If you'd like to learn more about Laird Connectivity's gateways and sensors for industrial IoT and other applications, click the links in the description or visit mauser.com. And be sure to check back soon for the next episode of Tech Chats. Music.